optimization or SEO as the acronym is, is a process of optimizing your website with the goal of improving your position, also known as a ranking, in the search engine results. This means you get more organic traffic and this is the kind of traffic that you don't have to pay for. SEO dates back to the 90s when search engines emerged for the very first time. Search engines are tools for organizing the web, which is a huge place. A search engine crawled, which means they go through the pages on your website and they try to understand enough about your website to include it in their index or what we call the search results. Search engines are used by people like me and you and we're looking for a piece of information. It might be the phone number for our children's school. It might be for a delivery that needs pick it up. It may be that we want to return something and we don't know how to do that. So we go to a search engine to find the answer to that something. And it doesn't matter whether you sell a product or a service or you write a blog post or anything else. If somebody is looking for it, they're going to go to a search engine to find it. To put it simply, SEO is all of the actions that you do to make the search engines consider your website a quality resource and put it higher in their index so people are more likely to find you. Google is not the only search engine, but it's by far the most popular with an estimated 90 billion searches each month. And it's also important to remember that we're not only trying to communicate with Google and their algorithm and Bing and other search engines, but we're also trying to communicate with real people because Google is just the intermediary between you and your potential customers or your potential readers. So it's important to remember that we're trying to communicate with both. E-commerce stores definitely can benefit from SEO, getting your products up higher uh, in the Google rankings. Small businesses, global brands, bloggers, freelancers, just about anybody can benefit from optimizing their website to appear better in search and get their search rankings higher. Because the higher your search rankings go, uh, the better chances are that you'll have the visitors that you want on your website. Now let's talk about what SEO can do. It can get more organic traffic for good content pages. It means that your pages really must be high quality. They must have information that people want to see. And if you have that, then SEO can help you get more organic traffic to those pages. It can also help you engage with the right users. All the traffic in the world isn't going to do you any good unless the people that land on your page are there to see the type of content that you're serving. And that involves making sure that you're matching up with the intent of that original user or that user that's coming to your website. SEO is also a good complement for uh, UX design to get you better engagement on your pages. So you may have a team or maybe it's you that have worked really, really hard to create a website and pages that create a good customer experience. Well, SEO goes hand in hand with that to make sure that those users that are coming to that page you worked so hard on uh, are engaging with it in the right way and that they can understand uh, the, the, the content that you've created. And then it can also help you discover the best content opportunities. And this may be something that you've heard of before, doing keyword research, going out there, seeing what people are looking for, and uh, finding opportunities for you to engage customers in ways that you didn't think of before. Now, what SEO can't do. This is something that's very important to make clear. SEO cannot get you to the number one search ranking. Now, there may be uh, rare instances where you put up a page and all of a sudden the next day, uh, you're, the, you're the top rank. That is very, very rare. I haven't seen that happen ever in all of my years of optimizing websites. And that's because it's a competitive place. 
and you have lots of people that uh, are publishing content that they want to get out there for the same searches that you do. And they are established, they've maybe uh, optimized their sites with some of the same techniques that we're talking about today. And they've been there for days or weeks or months or years. So it's important to understand that making these changes isn't going to take you to number one on Google uh, the very next day. Um, SEO can also cannot create a buying audience that doesn't exist. Um, there may be a product that you've created that uh, you and people that you know love very much, uh, but that audience for that product may not be searching for it online. Um, it also may be a great idea for a product, but people don't even know to look for it yet anywhere. Um, and also you, you may have uh, articles or information where there's just not that many people trying to find that information. And in that case, SEO isn't going to create that audience out of nowhere. Uh, you do have to make sure that there is an audience for the content that you're creating and the, the products that you're publishing about online. And SEO also cannot trick search algorithms into indexing your pages without a really good reason. Um, there may have been times in the past when uh, the world of organic search was maybe a little bit more primitive and you could hack your way into getting pages up for certain searches where they maybe didn't belong on the off chance that uh, that user might coincidentally want to engage with your content. You can't do that anymore. Uh, you shouldn't do that anymore, but also Google especially sees right around any kind of tricks, any kind of trickery. So there, Google is only going to serve a page that is actually a good result and matches up with the user intent of the search that you're targeting. Okay, so congratulations. You've come to the end of this module. You're now ready to move on and complete the next section in this free SEO Made Easy course from Namecheap.